Hey kids, you know that any kind of work you do, you require some amount of energy for it. The energy for any process or any work you do, basically you get it from the food that you eat. So the delicious food your mommy makes for you gives you a lot of energy and many more things. But do you think that it's the food only which does this job? No. The food definitely acts as a fuel but to burn this fuel you require oxygen also. So always remember that with the help of food and oxygen your body makes energy. Now the question arises what this food contains? What are those magical ingredients in this food which gives you energy? Well, we say that the basic units of food that we get from eating different kind of food items are called nutrients. So, we would say that food gives us nutrition and the basic things which are present in this food is what you will call as nutrients. So, what are these nutrients? You might have heard about the basic components of foods. Such ex examples can be, uh, let's say, carbohydrates. So, these can be carbohydrates or carbs. These can be proteins. I'm sure your mom talks about proteins a lot because at your age, you need them a lot to grow, right? Similarly, fats. Well, we usually tend to avoid having a lot of fat because that causes obesity. But we definitely need some amount of fat in our diet. Except for fats, we have vitamins. Then we have some amount of minerals. Now, all these are found in our food items. Except for all these, we also need water. Alright, so these are the nutrients which basically help us in performing different things that we do the entire day. For example, carbohydrates are required primarily for the process of formation of energy. Proteins are required for growth. Fats are required again to act as a storage in our body. Alright, next, vitamins and minerals they are very very important to save us from a number of diseases. And water, it act as a dissolving medium. It also does a lot of things for our body. So now when we talk about the functions of food, how can we summarize this? Well, when we say the functions, the first function that we have seen is the production of energy. So, the food gives us energy. Second, we have seen that the vitamins and minerals, they provide us strength to fight against diseases. So, we would say that uh, food helps us in making or keeping our defense mechanism very, very strong. Third, like we know the proteins, they help us in growth, right? So, it helps us in growth and maintenance of our body. So, these are primarily the three functions which are performed by the food. Now, this food, we can get it in different parts of the world, right? For example, when we talk about in India itself, we see that in India, in different parts of our country, we will find different varieties of food. Some of the foods can be rich in carbohydrates, some can be rich in proteins, fats, etc. But it is very important for you to know that to get these functions done by your food, you have to have a proper balanced diet, which should contain all of these nutrients in the right amount.